Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. is the capital of Norway. It is the most popular cities in Norway and it's both a county and a municipality. The city of Oslo was founded in the year 1040 and it had several different names until 1925 when it officially received the name of Oslo. I absolutely love the city of Oslo. I've been there three times. I've lived there for two months. So today I want to tell you what are the seven place in Oslo that you absolutely cannot miss if you travel to Norway. At number seven we have Frogner Park which is sometimes also called Vigeland Park. Vigeland Park is not the real name of this park, but it's called this way sometimes because it contains the Vigeland installation, which is a series of very peculiar statues built by Gustav Vigeland between 1924 and 1943. we have Karlionsgate, which is the main road of the city center of Oslo. It's right in front of you when you exit the central train station in Oslo. It's this big, very long road with a lot of shops, a lot of tourists. It's normally the busiest street of Oslo and this street actually leads you to spot number five which is the Royal Palace of Oslo. The Royal Palace was built in the first half of the 19th century and it's still nowadays the official residence of the Norwegian monarch. Holmenkollen, which is a little hill right on top of Oslo city. On the top you can find the ski jump but you can also admire a beautiful beautiful view of the Oslo fjord. we have Akerbrygge. Akerbrygge is a neighborhood in London and it's a very lively place. There are a lot of shops, restaurants, a lot of entertainment. From there you can take the ferry to reach other islands. You can really walk along the Oslo Fjord and it's absolutely beautiful. We have 
have the Akershus Fortress or Akershus Castle. It's a medieval castle that was used before as a military base, but it's now the temporary office of the Prime Minister of Norway. to the Hopera House. The Hopera House is the National Theatre of Oslo and was built between 2003 and 2007. So it's a very modern building. It's right next to the train station. The building itself is beautiful. It has a very special shape. You can even walk on top of the building and from there you can see the whole city, you can see the fjord, you can see Holman Colin in the distance. It's beautiful and is a beautiful place to go whatever time of the day, whatever time of the year. In winter the water of the Oslo fjord is frozen so you can see really the birds walking on the sea. At sunset the glass structure of the building reflects these such beautiful colors. Oslo has really such amazing sunsets, the skies turn pink and the top of the Oslo Opera House is really the best place to admire it.
the seven spots that you really cannot miss when visiting Oslo. Let me know what are your favorite spots. I'm really curious. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumb up and to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.